Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than my traditional bearable IT videos for Salesforce. I'm going to be showing you and taking you on my journey to get the 100 badges for Salesforce, which is where you get your Ranger badge. And I thought I was doing these for a little while on my own, and I actually thought that this could be some decent content. Maybe we could get a small community around just you know watching my journey to 100 badges. Some of these can be very long, boring, dry, but I'll actually do my best to make it funny, maybe make it look easy. Um, but yeah, some of these, you know, doing these on your own can be pretty tiresome. So let's do this first one together, uh, Salesforce Ohana Culture. And you can get a general sense for some of these badges. A lot of these badges actually do Salesforce stuff, but these ones right now that I'm about to do, um, a little bit less uh, Salesforce technical skills and more along the lines of just company culture. And so you can get badges just by taking their company culture uh, badges. So let's go ahead and do a few of these right now. So understand why culture and values matter. 15 minutes. And so the first thing you should do is just scroll straight to the bottom and read the quiz question. What is one of the benefits of having a strong culture? Well, gee, let me think. It's easier to, term, to determine which perks to offer? Probably not. Everyone shares the same opinions? Yeah, that's what it is. All teams work exactly in the exact same ways? No, probably this one here. I'm guessing, just uh, by reading the other options. What are values? Values are principles that are basically the same for every company. No. Values guide behaviors, decisions, and actions. Yes. Values are principles you follow only after asking. No. Values are consistently changing. No, not really. All right. How does Salesforce view company culture? <laughs> it's the responsibility of the HR department, yeah. It's nice to have, but not a must-have. It's a critical asset. Okay, yeah. All right, so there we go. I didn't even read it. Uh, I just used common sense. I would expect most reasonable people to be able to read this quiz, apply common sense, and, you know, come up with the answers here. So you can skip over all that, press check the quiz to earn 100, and then there you go. Quiz complete. Now we're 33% done with that badge. Tackle the next unit. All right, once again, let's scroll straight to the bottom. We got three questions here. What, is, what does Ohana mean at Salesforce? I know this off the top of my head, but just to give you guys some quick uh, tips here. Ohana, family, just a quick control F there, might do it there, uh, there we go, extended family, which of the following are Salesforce's four core values, I can probably just guess this one just by reading that, trust, customer success, customer care, okay, these are some decent ones here, so I'm probably going to have to scroll up and read some of the headlines. Get okay, equality, innovation, customer success, and trust. There we go. And then we got uh, which of the following experiences bring Salesforce culture to life? Let's think, maybe it's that one. No, no, it's probably not the products. Accountability, alignment, and enablement. This probably has to do with the values here, events. But if you want to make sure you get the 100 points here, products, events. Workspaces. Man, that's not one of the options. 
All right, so this is a tougher one. I'm not going to lie. Well, I saw products, events, and workspaces up above, so that's probably a good guess. I'm going to go with that one. Oh, thank goodness. That was a tricky one. Next unit. All right, now we go straight to the bottom. We don't even read the title. What is one of the ways you can define or evolve your culture story? Have your internal marketing team? <laughs> yeah. Ask just your CEO? No. Hire an outside marketing agency? Yeah. Probably this one. So you'll notice this is just some basic strategies around a lot of quizzes and tests. You can tell I. I know the answers just by reading the first three words, what's not the answer. And so once you eliminate the ones that are clearly trash that you know that they don't want to hear, you can probably guess the last one pretty easily. A lot of times I find it's also the longest answer. So that's another good test taking strategy when you're doing multiple choice. What should your plan to build culture include? Not the. Mm, maybe, maybe see. All right, it's probably A. A gets the message across. It's a strong one. We'll go with that one. Leading by examples on values means. Taking personal responsibility to live the values, probably. Putting your company values in your email signature. <laughs> Communicating the values only to internal employees. Yeah, that one right there. Paying attention to only the company values that will resonate with you. Oh, it's definitely D, hands down. All right. Oh my gosh. I missed it. So my plan to do posters around the office wasn't good enough. Therefore, all right, it's got to be B. I'm just making some educated guesses here. And there we go. I've now got a shiny new badge and Thanks for watching me. I'm now 1 100th closer to getting my Ranger badge. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.